is Nintendo fucking up with the eShop? The reason I ask is because, well, on the 14th, I was losing my mind on Twitter. Which, by the way, if you don't follow me on Twitter, go follow me on Twitter, man. It's the same fucking name, at j to death Follow me on Twitter, man. I am active on Twitter like a motherfucker. I be sending out tweets all the time, just talking about random shit. Um, in gaming, um, I be tweeting at people when they say stupid shit, when they do stupid shit. Um, just to say shit. So make sure you follow me. Again, that is at J2Death on Twitter. Um, so what is going on with this fucking eShop? Nintendo. I'm not upset that you haven't made your uh, 8-bit, 16, and 64-bit games available yet. You don't want to make money, that's on you. I've been very vocal about how developers don't want to make all the money they can on Twitter. I've said that several times. However, I am a little pissed that on the 14th, you actually held content back. You released two games at midnight you released two when there was more than that you let rocket league go at midnight and you let another game go but you actually held back batman the telltale series you had you held back it'll do two you held back uh la noir and you held back marvel superheroes 2 four games you held back all these games were released on the fucking um, 14th. Rocket League was the only one that actually got released aside another game that I can't remember on the 14th. Those were the only two available. Everything else was released about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. This makes you look horrible, Nintendo. I can't support this. Okay? This is my main way of playing games right now because I can play Hulu and Netflix on my cable box, which is my Xbox One. Um, it's not my quick pick me up and play a game like this. This is not how I pick up and play a game real quick, then snap over to Xbox. That, while yes, they tried to sell it that way, is not the most convenient way to play anything, okay? I can play on this while listening to that, and this is more convenient because, again, I can just shut this off, go downstairs, get something to eat, something to drink, come back upstairs, power on, be playing this, that still be playing, me listening to it while playing this. It's just more convenient, okay? Now, if the eShop, which all across the board, Xbox, PlayStation, obviously competing with one another because one week Xbox will have a sell, PlayStation the very next week has a sell. Obviously, they're competing. If they wanted to really compete, PlayStation and Xbox would have a sell the fucking same week. Nintendo. You're not competing at all. You have a digital market. And a lot of these games you're getting now are available on PS4 and Xbox One and have been for the longest time. You're going to have to start competing when it comes to the digital market. Because the digital market <coughs> has nothing to do with the performance and the power of the hardware. It's about getting the customer to spend their digital money on your fuck <coughs> platform. Pardon me, that's 100% real. <coughs> and Nintendo, you right now hold the keys to being the number one fucking platform. Because your platform is the most innovative and the most convenient. If you can manage to make your fucking eShop the best eShop, then you will easily take over. And that sounds like craziness. That sounds like total bullshit. But imagine if PlayStation or Xbox was as convenient as the Switch. Just imagine that. Imagine an Xbox or a PlayStation being as convenient as a Switch. Right? Fucking holy shit. With the uh, digital markets they have? Yes, it would give this a run for its money, but here's the thing. They don't have that. 
Nintendo, you have all the edge. This thing right here is way, 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 way too convenient. Way, 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 way more convenient. Way more uh, practical and innovative than the PS4 and Xbox One combined. It might not be the most technical, might not be the most powerful thing on the market, might not do 4K, might not do 60 frames a second, but guess what? All that shit is smoke and mirrors. Here's the thing. You can take this with you. It plays Doom. It plays Skyrim. It'll have Portal Knights. It'll have... It has L.A. Noir. It's about to have Resident Evil Revelations 2. It has Mario Kart 8. It has... Uh, um fucking Zelda Breath of the Wild it has fucking Splatoon 2 you can have Wi-Fi through your phone hooked on this thing so you're able to blast your games online uh, doing multiplayer shit like that this thing is a huge convenient factor if you get your digital market under control and you make it competitive you will gain a lot of fucking Notice, you will you will get a lot of fucking eyes noticing this, and big fucking like what's going on over here, and people will start shopping exclusively through your eShop, especially with the games you have coming out, and they will bring their playing over to your platform. And playing on you exclusively because they bought the game here. But if you keep going the way you're going with the eShop, your system's going to do, eh. And that's all it's going to do. Because what's the point? See what I'm saying? My Xbox One is an all-digital console. I have Grand Theft Auto 5 on there. I have Skyrim on there. I have uh, ReCore on there. I have Tomb Raider on there. I have a bunch of games on there. But guess what? I don't play on my Xbox One as much as I play on this thing because this is more convenient. And it's not that I don't like any of the games that are on there. It's just my Switch is more convenient. And that's 100% real. So, if you make your eShop more competitive and you make it m like more simplistic and the way the eShop was on the Wii U and the 3DS more people will spend their uh, digital dollars on your fucking product and PlayStation and Xbox will take notice not only will they take notice but um, developers like Blizzard, developers like, uh, I don't know, EA, which we don't really want, but they will, uh, Ubisoft, fuck it, I, I don't know, all these fucking developers, big AAA developers who really ain't really fucking with you right now, but kind of want to, will fucking take notice, and who knows, we might get those big titles like, uh, Overwatch on the Switch, not because your uh, platform is so powerful, but because, hey, people are spending money on this more so than the other ones. People are really spending money on this, and a lot of it. And it doesn't matter how much Xbox discounts their games down. It doesn't matter how much PlayStation discounts their games down. It doesn't matter how much powerful uh, Xbox One or PS4 has over the Switch. It's how much better Nintendo has made their product and how much more simplistic Nintendo's eShop has become. And that's why their customers have flocked back and just become this in crazed group of fucking people and that's why they've blown the fuck up and it's all right there just because of the digital market and the simplistic uh the simplistic fucking uh outline around it but if you keep on going with this 
we're going to hold games back that should be available at midnight digitally, then you're not going to get there. Because all these games you have that are coming out now, that are third party and indie titles, have already been released on PS4 and Xbox One, which is an it's good to see they're being put on Nintendo, but at the same time, you have to realize you're a little late to these third-party titles. You're a little late to these indie titles, which makes your system just a little gimped. It makes it a little, not entirely, just a little. So you have to make up for that in some way. And the way you make up with it is by fixing the eShop by making it as good as it can be by improving on all these faults that I pointed out here by the game is released at midnight no matter the time zone if it's midnight there it's released fuck what anyone says it's got to be released the game has got to be competitively priced with the competitors um, no matter when the game is released because this game has been out on PS4 and Xbox One for a while. I know it's new to Nintendo, but we have to be competitively priced. Otherwise, you're probably going to lose that money to someone else who wants to save money. Yes, there is convenience with the Switch, and that innovation of convenience plays a big part, but depending on the person, a lot of people out here are super cheap, so you have to be willing to take a hit just so you can save that <coughs> that person from going somewhere else so that's a that's a big thing you have to remember not everyone's gonna buy a sixty dollar game that's been out for fucking the past what seven years so you gotta be able to take a hit you got to <coughs> you gotta take a hit Res or not Resident Evil, but fuck Skyrim is twenty dollars right now on Xbox. You have to take a hit just so you can keep people from going to Xbox and buying the same fucking game. You gotta take a hit. There's no way you can't because why would someone buy it on the fucking Switch when it's twenty dollars on Xbox? You get so much more on the Xbox version than you do on the fuck Switch version. You gotta take a hit. Yes, innovation will help you. But until you fix everything, it's not going to help you that much. That's 100% real. Anyway, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Deuces.